right-handed Brazier's first major league start. How about that first major league start? He shoots it up the right side toward the corner. A fair ball. Lyle's going to turn and head for second base, and he is in there ahead of the throw. Two bases for Brandon Lau. Taking the mound for the Rays is going to be left-hander Ryan Yarbrough, his fourth start of the season, looking for that first win. And that's going to be a base hit and a right. So Verdugo drops in a single. He's now two for three in his career against Yarborough. So Red Sox trying to jump on Yarborough right away. He's winless in his last 11 starts. Line drive. That one hit to left. Headed for the wall. It's high off the monster. Verdugo is in to score. J.D. Martinez is into third base. And it's an RBI double for Xander Bogarts, who continues to pick on Tampa Bay. Round ball yanked to short, trying to send a runner home. He hesitates, throws to first and got him. But the Red Sox will bring in another run as Martinez scores. And his 3 1 pitch. And one punch through for a base hit. Bogart's in to score. And the Red Sox take a 3 to nothing lead in the first inning. This one away and a long fly ball to center and a leap before. Kiermaier gets to the wall and makes the catch. He was a couple steps away from the wall and probably not quite sure where that wall was, but he's making the leaping catch to retire the hitter anyway. Yeah, and, and, and he didn't really need to leap, left a little bit too soon, and you could tell by his reaction when he got up, he realized. Now the runner headed to second. And the pitch up and Meadows picks up his first stolen base of the year. Uh oh. Martinez launches a high deep drive, and that ball is way out of Fenway Park. JD Martinez for the first time. <laughs> I said, I didn't give it up. <laughs> it is four to one Red Sox. JD Martinez absolutely smoked it. Let's see if that gets him going. Boy, did he need that. Up the middle, backhanded nicely. Lau, a very good play right there to get that throw away to G Man Choi and retires Xander Bogart. I'm going to tell you what, this place is better than it even looked. That ball off the mound, the short hop, the way that he got to his feet, slide, pop up slide, and then get rid of it all in one motion. Now the pitch is popped into center out of the reach of Bogart's. Tsugo will score. Kiermaier will cross the plate. Perez drops that one in there. The Rays have two runs home and make it a one run game. It's four to three. 0 2 skied in the center field with some carry. That ball off the bottom of the wall out there. Perez hitting third. They're going to wave him home. The throw to the plate will be too late and into third base goes Meadows. Well, there, there's a lot happening here. And Ron Renicki is going to want to take a look at that play at the plate. Here it is. Throws there in time. But look at the little juke action and the left hand gets to the back corner of home plate. Jackie kind of pulled up on it. So here's the answer. He's out. It oh, yes. He's turned it over. Two and one to count on Joey Wendell. Lines it back into center. Bradley on the run over his head and one hop to the wall. Diaz digging hard on his way to the plate. He will score and all the way to third goes Wendell and the Rays have tied this game at four. Joey Wendell comes through. It's going to go up yes. the middle and there yes. it is for a base hit. Get the baseball. Jonathan Arauz with his first major league hit. He does it tonight against Tampa Bay at Fenway. And hit on the ground. Shortstop. Wendell. Lau one. Joy two. The Rays get the double play. 6-4-3 and get out of that spot. He shoots it up the right side. Fair ball. Down beyond the tar picked up by Pilar. One run is in. The Rays are going to take the lead. Perez crosses the plate. Diaz winds up at third. 
And G-Man Choi comes through to make it 5-4 Ray. Here's the breaking ball, but he got it down the line. It's going to drop in and carry him off the sidewall. Here comes Chavis. He read it. He is in to score. And the Red Sox have tied at 5-5 on the base hit by Ploiecki. What a piece of hit there. Two on the out, tied at five in the seventh. Springs against Kiermaier. And a base hit into left center field. Going to go all the way to the wall. Desugo will score. Margot heads to the plate. He's going to score a two-run double for Kiermaier. And the Rays grab the lead again. It's 7-5. Throw down to second base, runner on the move, and got him. What? Cut him down. Now uh, they're thinking about taking a look at this and challenging the play. Because he touched him on the back, I, and he thinks he thinks he's safe. Meadows, in a little bit. I say it's safe. Right? We've got an answer. He's oh, out. I'm wrong again. Thank you. He scored seven so far. And there's a shot into left. That ball is going to be off the wall. Adamas will score. Brasso winds up at third and Margot's having quite a night banging that one off the green monster driving in a run runners lead all the way around on a 1 1 line drive and that one's into the alley one run in here comes Benintendi in to score that is a two run hit Ara Ooze has had himself a night and the Red Sox have closed the gap to one yeah the biggest at bat of his career here's Chavis. One two pitch from Kittredge. Swing and a miss, and that will do it. Foul tipped into the mid to strike him out. So this one ends after almost four and a half hours. Tampa Bay hangs on to win it. Eight to seven, the final score.